All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start out this lesson uh, by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well. And salutations too to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity, and the few sisters that are listening and learning as well. All right, I'm here with the uh, brother Daniela uh, um, from, uh, you know, we're from the brothers from GMS Chicago. You know, coming at you with another lesson. And um, in this video, you know, we want to go into the topic of this not being our rest. All right. You know, and pretty much it be not our rest, you know, to all Israel, not supposed to be our rest. But, you know, how much more to the hopeful elect. All right. They believe this word and, um, you know, the, uh, believe the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, and, and are and are and are putting and are putting in work, showing uh, the faith, man. All right, because um, you know, um, matter of fact, let me just start here. In Micah two and ten, it's Micah two and ten. It says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction." All right, so everything that's pushed in the vibration of this world is is uh is pollution, man. It's, it's abominable in the sight of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right? So we can't, you know, um, cozy up in this place, man. Because we're not of this world, man. All right? We, we, we're seeking one to come. You know, and us having this truth, this knowledge, all right? Um, you know, um, we, we're, we're privy to the abominations in this world. You know, at, at one point when we were in the world, you know, we didn't, you know, fully grasp everything that the Lord hated of this world. But now, you know, that we come to, to understand this knowledge, now we understand that these things uh, are hateful unto the Heavenly Father. And and if you and if we're, you know, we're sincere uh, about this word and this truth, we're going to feel the exact same way, man. You know, so how can you rest knowing and seeing all this abomination going on in this world, man? You know? You know, if you try to cozy up, you know, you're only going to take part of it, you know, and be destroyed, man. All right. John, if I could say too, uh, mm -hmm. a, the, the position that we're in right now, we're in, we're in our captivity and this is our form of punishment. And when a father chastises a child as a punishment, the, the child doesn't look at the punishment as, as a good thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, since you said, you know, you said, you brought up a point. I just want to back you up. This is uh, Psalms 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. Mm. And I am not, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee. I hate them with, with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Mm. And that's, that's our, you know, this goes for our, our, the two thirds of our people, but also the heathen as well. You know, all of them really is really, uh, the whole entire world. Against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his, his elect, you know, and those that believe in him, it's us versus the whole world, really, you know, and they they they, they are all these people who truly hate the Lord because they don't want to, uh, they don't want him to reign over them. They don't want to be, uh, uh, you know, be uh, um, be fully obedient unto him. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a vexation, man, you know, because we we know and understand that, hey, that uh, you know. We are the Lord's creation, and we're supposed to worship the, the the Creator more than the creation, which is what our people don't understand. Right, exactly, and that scripture shows you exactly the spirit you're supposed to be in. So it's, that's exactly right, man. Is you know if you you want to align yourself with the Lord, you know you want to be on His side when the Lord comes back, man. And that's that right spirit to be in, man. Hate them that hate the Lord, man. This this current world is proven that that they hate the Lord, man. You know how you know they'll say in God we trust, right? They put it in your dollar, but in their actions, you know, in their policies, you know, it's all against the Lord, man. They you know push forth homosexuality, all right. Um, you know the Lord uh, in the New Testament tells you that a woman should not usurp, usurp authority over a man, and here they push it, man, with this whole uh, women's lib movement, liberation movement, right? You know they they put a woman over a man, you know they. You know, um, they don't teach obedience to the children. All right. 
Um, you know, they tell them to be free spirits, man. And, and what's the, been the result of that, man? You know, you got a bunch of children being homosexuals now, man. All right. You know, and, and, and all the all these practices, you know, out, out here, man, you know, are completely against the Lord. All right. And, and we can't be that, you know. Uh, so, you know, knowing that this world is like this, how can we rest here, man? All right. How can we rest here? When we see all this going on, man. All right. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 17. It says, And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know the madness and folly. All right. And to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow, man. So we, we you know, through the grace and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, we've been uh, um, given, uh, you know, the knowledge of the Lord and our eyes have been opened to, to actually see what's good and pleasant in the sight of the Lord. And, and also what is it ab abominable in the sight of the Lord? And we see that it rains here in Babylon, man, which is, uh, AKA America, the United States. All right. We see it. And so, you know, if you see it and you in that sincere spirit with the Lord, man, you're going to be vexed, man. You're going to be vexed of the folly, all right? You're going to be, uh, uh, you're increasing sorrows when, you, when you're knowledgeable about all the things that are going on, you know? You got the underground pedophile rings. You got, you got uh, your congressmen, your senators, and, um, you know, uh, all these bishops and the Catholic Church that partake in pedophilia, man. These are the men that, that uh, you know, are, are ru you know, ruling over, like, the religion, and, uh, and and ruling over over your, uh, your the 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 government, man. You know these are the people that rule over you, man. Our our people, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the real Hebrew Israelites, they they they're uh, they're um, being being uh, oppressed. You know, being gunned down in the streets, given given uh, a few opportunities, first one uh for last one hired, first one fired. You know, it's complete oppression, man. You know. And if you're in the world, you, you know, you might think it's, it's all equality. But us knowing this truth now, we see that it's not. That Esau Edom is, is him who is ruling over us, man. The so-called white man. All right. And, and and this man, according to Malachi 1 and 4, he's the border of wickedness, man. You know, uh, only folly is going to come from him. You know, this is the book of Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with Condemn them and overthrow, making them an, an example mm. unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of, of the wicked, for the righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul mm. from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Hey Amen. That's the same way we are, man. You know, hey, we when we're when we're just work, uh, when we're at work, we have to deal with the two thirds of our people, if not the heathen. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's even worse, man. And just hearing the conversation, man, their conversation is just pointless. You know, it's nothing but folly. All right, it's nothing that uh, it's only something that uh, they're always talking about something that always has to satisfy their flesh, mm -hmm. never their spirit. Right, we talk about smoking weed. Or committing adultery, you know, uh, uh, you know, taking another man's woman, you know, or it'll be just just some straight out uh, homosexual shit, man. You know, they'll say it's this playing around, but you know, how can you find joy in that, man? Mm -hmm. if, if you're really sincere about you know following the will of the heavenly Father, how can you find joy in that, man? You know, but you know these people, they that that's what they like to joke around, you know. Yeah. You know, being being uh, uh, homosexuals, because in reality, man, you know, if you're not following the Lord, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you, you, you know, um, you, you, hey, you're just full with, with demons, man, you know, and you know, following after uh, homosexuality, man, that, that's that's a big demon, man. Right, that's not even something to be playing around with, man. Yeah. You're not supposed to be playing around, even if hey, if it's a joke, man. It's, that's not a joke. Hey, the, the the penalty of, of being a homosexual is death. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, if we were in the, if we were in the kingdom right now and you joke around like that, hey, you'll you'll die on the spot. You know. Right. Shit. There ain't gonna be no joking around about that because the scripture says, um, uh, "Your people they shall all be righteous, man." 
You know, that's in uh, the book of Isaiah 60 and one of the uh, last two verses. All right. Well, they're going to all be righteous. They're going to be on that vibration, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so let's keep going. You got some? Yeah. Okay, well, this is, the, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Mm. Hey, man. And we're being oppressed, man. We're seeing our people. That's another reason why we're not we're not at ease in this in this evil kingdom, man. We're seeing our own people being oppressed. You know, sure they're two thirds of our people. You know, they're they're wicked, but they're still our people, man. We still do love our people. That's why, uh, like the the brother saying, man, that we we're the we are the only ones that truly love our people because we're giving we're rebuking them, man. We're giving we're teaching the word, you know. Yeah, we're showing them the right way to get salvation, man. We're showing them the right way to please the Lord, man. All right. And that's the only way you're going to be saved, man. Because according to the wisdom of Solomon, it says that the Lord loveth none, but him that dwelleth with wisdom, man. And this wisdom and the wisdom is this word. All right. And and through the grace and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he, he put the spirit, you know, um, on the apostles on down to bring uh, to correctly divide the word directly and correctly. So that so that understanding can come out, man, you know, and so that you can have understanding and know what to do to get delivered, man. The, script, the scripture says, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. And who shall have knowledge is uh, him who is weaned from the milk. All right? Uh, he got to be precept upon precept. The, 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 the Bible doesn't contradict itself, man. All right? Yeah. So, hey, and, and the truth, man, it, it sets you free. You know? Mm -hmm. hey, you're no longer chained up in Esau's madness. You know? Because hey, they, they might have let us, uh, you know, we're not in uh, in captivity, you know, physically. But guess what, man? Our people are are held captive mentally, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the that's the worst. That's the worst out of the worst, man. And you and Esau is tricked you so bad that you don't you can't even see it. That's right. This is yeah, you know, he got um, you know, he he be uh, manipulating the people, you know, subconsciously, man. You know, uh, to the point where nowadays people don't think for themselves, man. They. Uh, their opinions are based on what they see on the news or on TV, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but our opinions come from uh, um, come from the scriptures, which they're inspired from on high, man. All right, this is uh, uh, Hebrews thirteen and fourteen. It says, "For here we have no continuing city, and it's obvious, man. If we keep living here, man, these Edomites that are over us, you know, uh, um, you know, are, are going to destroy us, man. They're going to co corrupt us, man." All right, you see how these people that try to make it in in America, how, how they end up, man. They either end up cooning, you know, or, 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 or you know, or selling selling their soul, man. Which you know, you could say is one and the same, man. You know, and we we don't have no continuing city. It says, but we seek one to come, man. So this is not our rest, man. We got to look for that place wherein the Lord uh, um, is gonna dwell, man. Where He's gonna establish His rule. All right. So that uh, righteousness can be there, man. You know, we want to live in that kind of place, man. Because, you know, let's say you're trying to look for a home. What are the, some of the things that you look at, man? You look at the area, you know, that, that it's around, man. You know, with high violence, you know. And, and the same thing with us, man. We're looking for a country where, where it's not a high abomination, man. You know, we want a country where there's no abomination, man. All right. Yep. We got one for you. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 22. And except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. Mm. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's it. And if we don't get salvation, man, sooner or later, we're all going to die, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, because now you, you have it all. Man, this, I was talking about it with a couple of brothers, man. Hey, it's so, transgenderism has gotten so well that it's scary, man. You can no longer tell if, it, if a, a woman... Hey, if a, a man that you know got a sex change operation and turn to and change himself into a woman, now you can't really even tell, man. Hey, so sooner or later, hey man, that's all. It's this place is a whole vexation. Not only that, but even the food right. that we're eating, mm -hmm. the the air that we're breathing, right. is nothing but all poison. You know, and we we sh we really need deliverance, man. God, and that's also part of increasing the knowledge, man. These are all the things that we know are going on in this place, man. You got chemtrails in the air, so our air is polluted. You know, like like the brother mentioned, you know, you got the GMOs. Our food is polluted. Our our water is polluted, man. You know, it's filled with fluoride. Uh, uh, 
you know, uh, fluoride, uh, chlo uh, chlorine, you know, they even got a, what is a, a, a P PCB, PCPs? Oh, no, it's, um, well, um, I, I forgot that, the, the, the acronym for it, but it's, um, you know, they call it the, um, you know, the chemical that never dies pretty much, you know? Um, and, and it stays inside your system and there's no way to, to, to break it down biochemically. I mean, uh, 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 um, biologically, man. All right. So, um, it, it's something like that PSBs or something like that. Um, you know, then even with the plastic, you know, um, you know, the, the, the PBA, uh, you gotta find plastic that's PBA free, you know? Um, so forth and so forth, man. And even in the water, man, uh, going, uh, continuing on the water, um, you know, uh, so many, uh, pharmaceutical drugs have been flushed down the toilet. Then now you even have that in your drinking water, man. You know, it is it, bugged out, man. This is madness, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and knowing all these things, how can you possibly think that this is your rest, man? And, and, and then even from the beginning, uh, uh, the, the start of this nation, man, how did it start? It was with the rape, robbery. And enslaving and murdering of of, uh, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, and they haven't stopped to this day, man. It's your people getting gunned down in the streets, man. It's your people that fill up the jailhouses, man. All right, it hasn't stopped, man. So how can you possibly think it's fine to nest up here, man, when there's death all around you? You know. Oh, uh, yeah. John, this is the book of Isaiah sixty-two and six. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish, till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Hey, mm -hmm. so hey, the, the the true men they can see the, they can uh, understand the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and His wisdom. They're not gonna give him no rest, man, because we we want a we want a new heaven and new earth, man. Mm -hmm. hey, that's, I believe that's that was we were holding the Second Peter. Kind of. uh, I mean, the th uh, yeah, Second Peter three. Yeah. And hey, we're looking for a new heaven, a new earth, man. Where where dwelleth righteousness, man. This because this this on this side, man, it's nothing but wickedness, man. That's right, man. You gotta go outside. You know, you gotta wor worry about like depending on the, the 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 neighborhood you live in. We gotta look behind your bag, make sure you know nobody out there is trying to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Trying to rob you. You know. You know, so forth and so forth, man. You know, this is Second Peter 3 and 13. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth. Look for uh, new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. You know, we want to want to live in a place where we don't have to worry about, you know, uh, you know, your your children growing up to be, you know, uh, bangers or, 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 or whores, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is what's being promoted to our people specifically, man. You know, you don't see these other nations out here promoting, you know, um, uh, homosexuality. Um, what was it uh, women being whores, uh, men being killers and drug dealers of uh, via the music, uh, their music, man. All right, this is the only people uh, uh, that do that. And guess guess who has the hand behind it? Who owns the the media? And uh, these record labels, man, is these Amalekites, man, these uh, uh, fake uh, Ju uh, Jewish people, man, which they're also Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. All right. They're also called white people, man. Yep. Just like I remember it, man, not too long ago when Nick Cannon was, you know, uh, was uh, was telling the truth, man. Mm -hmm. I was talking about the who are the true Israelites, who are the, the Amal uh, Amalekites, man. They're not the, the real Jews. And it shows you, man, the way they they. The, the elites of the society keep us dumbed down man they don't want to they don't want to uh tell us the truth man they don't want us to know who we who we truly are mm -hmm. hey man we're the we're the the sons and daughters of how about she man that's hey, right. we were that once we were that once let me get that man because that's what we need man that's what we once were and that's how the the heathens w once looked upon us mm -hmm. there's the book of deuteronomy chapters 4 verse 5 behold i have taught you statutes and judgments even as the lord my god commanded me that ye should that ye should do so in the land where did ye go to possess it keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of nations 
which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And that's what we need, man. When Yahweh Bashim Yashai comes back and truly delivers us, man. Because that's what we want, man. That's why we're not giving the Lord no rest. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why we're, we do the work of the Heavenly Father. Because we want that We want that kingdom, man. <coughs> we want that earth where it's going to be everlasting peace. Because the scriptures talk about it that a, a lamb shall, be, uh, shall lay with a wolf. And it, it's going to be peace, man. Yeah, your children should play with snakes. Mm -hmm. Should not be bitten, man. The the, you know the uh, the beasts like such as the lion, you know, all these uh, carnivorous um, animals in in the uh, in the kingdom, they're gonna eat grass, man. You know, the uh, you know they they that fear that the Lord at once put them in the beginning during the time of Adam, you know, is gonna be put back on them, man. So they're not gonna be a, a attacking our people, man. All right, this is um. Come on. We keep going. So we read this. No, we read Isaiah 62. This is uh, Isaiah 59 and, 59 and 15. It says, Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment, man. You know, and hey, uh, like we started uh, the video, uh, the video, man, is, you know, how much more for, for you sincere brothers, man, who know this truth. Because when you become a truth, you, you, you separate yourself from, from the world. And this world will attack you for that, man. You know? The, they'll, um, they'll call you by words. All right? You know? And that's exactly how they already look at us. You know? But now you got your own people uh, 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 attacking you, man. You know? Calling you a Muslim or, or you know, or whatever. You know? Um, hey, man. You know, uh, this, this world is, is plain to see that, that they're against the truth, man. You know, and when you're bringing it to them, you know, they're going to get offended. Okay. So much that, that, that some uh, men of the Lord, they're going to uh, be put to death for this truth, man. They're going to become martyrs, man. Okay. So how can you possibly find this place to be a rest, man? When you're you're uh, an opposition on all sides, man. You know, for those sincere, uh, 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 you know, brothers that understand this truth, you know, and, and, and are sincere about it, man. You know, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter five, verse 20. Woe unto him that call evil good and good evil. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know, just the back of that, you know, that precept. Hey, once you depart from uh, from wickedness, you make yourself a prey, man, because these people see it. You know, hey, just just you even not eating pork, man. Your own people look look down on you. You know, they'll be like, they'll tell you, oh, it's good. You know, they always look at you sideways, man. Right, but then when once you start when once you start breaking it down to them why you don't eat pork, now they're gonna scoff even harder, man. Right, or if you want to take, um, you know, um, you take your, your your power over your your family, you know, over your woman or, or your family to put order in your family. What do they say? That's toxic masculinity, you know. <laughs> it, it's just you know you're attacked on all sides, man. Mm -hmm. You know you're not allowed to be a man in this society, a true a true man. You know, which a true man, you know, women love to say that. Be a real man. Be a real man. Well, according to the scriptures, you know, a real man, um, the, his whole duty is to fear the Lord and to keep his commandments, man. Mm -hmm. That's what makes a real man. All right. This is uh, 2 Ezra 7 and 42. And he answered me and said, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide, man. You know, hey, men in general... And, and even men in the, uh, of the Lord, man, are, are, are put down here, man. The whole vibration of the Lord is put down here. All right. Therefore, have they prayed uh, for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality to come or immortality for to come wherein corruption is past, man. All right. So there you go, man. You know, right now we're dealing in, in, in a world where corruption is at an all time high, man. You know, so how again can you be uh, uh, cool and cozy up in this place, man? You know, we gotta separate ourselves uh, spiritually, you know, and, and um, which is getting away from the doctrines that they push in this world and aligning yourself with the vibration of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which is found in the Holy Bible, man. All right.
John. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse two. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be mm. evil spoken of. And then, hey, man, there you go, man. Now the truth is when, hey, once you bring out truth, man, is you're basically become a party pooper. You mm. know, no, hey, everybody, yep. every single two third that's dumbed down does not want to hear the truth. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear the history of America. All right, they don't want to hear all these things, man. They just focus on themselves, pleasing their flesh, they satisfying themselves. Hey, that's why our people are just selfish, man. You know? Yeah, con. And nobody talks to each other. You mm -hmm. know, you be on the street, everybody minding their own business because they don't care about nobody. They, You know, people only care about themselves, man. You know, and that's that type of uh, selfish, you know, uh, covetousness uh, spirit that's pushed here in Babylon, man. You know? So, again, why would you want to rest up and cozy in this place, man? All right? The Lord's going to come back and destroy this place, you know? So... You want to be found in that right spirit when he does come back so that we may be saved, man. All right. You got anything else? All right. So with that, man, you know, we hope the elect out there was edified. We're going to end this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well. And salutations too to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. And, you know, and, uh, to the few sisters that are listening and learning. Until the next one, we say Shalom. Shalom. And a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.